Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. Um, in my last video, I shared with you guys these cute little mini gift box packaging ID. Uh, I made a little gift box and a little mini gift bag, both with only one piece of six by six paper. And in the little gift bag here that I shared with you, I'll show you, I showed you guys what was inside the gift bag. And I made these cute little tiny uh, card spools for your trim or for your washi sample. You could also use these and make them into little tags and you can just punch a hole in the middle and then you can embellish your little card spool and use these um, as little tags. But I think these look so cute and I'm gonna show you guys how to make these. Uh, you do need the uh, We Are Memory Keepers mini envelope punch board to make these little card spools. But I'm also gonna show you um, three other different sizes that you can make as well if you want to make larger sizes but these were just so cute and they just fit nicely inside this little uh, gift bag or mini gift bag that I made and if you missed the video I'll put the link to this video down below if you want to see the tutorial on making these two with only one piece of six by six paper and also if you do make the card spools this size will just fit perfectly for the, your little mini ones as well and you can probably fit three in here uh, depending how much trim you have uh, on your spool but you can fit three so that is uh, what we're going to do today and I'm also going to show you the little kit pack that I've also put together if you don't have the punch board uh, as well but if you don't have the small one and you have the larger size um, envelope punch board I had done an earlier video as well um, how you can make the card spools I'll put the link for that video uh, down below and I think with that video you can make uh, a small size or two small sizes and a larger size with only one piece of six by six paper and then I'd also had done an earlier video uh, when I first started YouTubing as well uh, for a larger size card spool again I'll put the link to that video but these are the sizes that I'm going to show you on how we're going to make uh, the card spools. Um, I did four sizes actually um, but I was quite happy with these three sizes but I'll show you the fourth size as well in case you want to use uh, those measurements but look at these aren't they cute and I also use a die cut with a view paper to make the card spool. Um, it's double-sided paper and it's I think it's heavyweight paper so with the one piece I'm quite happy to just use that to wrap my trim around but if your paper is a little bit thinner you can cut two of these and then back the paper back to back to make it a more sturdier uh, card spool so it doesn't feel flimsy or lose its shape but with the die cut with the view paper I was quite happy with just uh, one piece of paper but I'm going to show you the sizes uh, that we're going to use and the other size so the little one is a two by two in size and the next size which is this one it's two by three inches the next one which was the one that we're not going to punch out but if you like this size you can cut this at two and a half inches by four inches and then it's punched at two inches, which um, I'll show you what that means. This one here is the larger size, and this is the one I was happy with. Uh, it's two and three quarter of an inch by four inches, punched at two. Um, this is a great size for your more larger length trim where you want to, um, you know, it's quite thick like I have here. So these are the three we're going to use. And What's great about the two by two, so this is how it looks like without the uh, without the trim on there. So with the two by two size uh, card spool, you can make nine of these card spools with one piece of six by six paper. And if your paper is thin, again, just cut up another set and then just back, back the paper together. But that's so good. You can cut nine pieces of these little card spools and you can still wind a lot of your trim around this one here. And double-sided paper is great too because you get to see the other side of the print as well. But let's go ahead and let's make the small one first. And you can just use your scrap papers as well because um, you don't need a lot of paper for these. So I'm going to 
grab my little piece at two by two to make the little small one. And what we're going to do, you're going to line your paper, the edge of your paper onto the edge of the, uh, the notch, which is just along, oops, sorry, just along there. And we're going to punch this down. Now my camera's probably going to shake when I punch this down, so I do apologize. So we'll punch that. And then we're going to turn it over the other side and do the same to the other side along the edge. And then we're going to turn this around and we're going to do the same to the other edge as well. So then you'll have this shape. I'm going to go this way. And what we do now is we're going to cut along this edge right up to that edge. You can use your paper trimmer if you like and just cut a nice as straight as you can and then you'll have that and then we we'll turn this around and do the same to the other side and you see you'll have a really cute little mini card spool so that's that and then all you do is you just grab your trim and you just wind it around or your washi sample and then just do that and that's you grab your little pin these are little pins and I just threaded a couple of beads just to decorate the pin and then you just hold that in place and there's your little card spool with your trim wrapped around and again you can punch a hole here and add a ribbon if you want to give this as a gift and that's that one done. Now we're going to make the next size, which is our two inches by three inches. And that one will be punched at the two inch mark. So here I have my uh, two, and two by three paper. Uh, along this edge, you're going to line the edge at that two inch mark. And we're going to do the same thing and punch on all four sides. You'll notice that my uh, punch board tends to get stuck on the notch doesn't seem to come off so I tend to have to tap, tap it down a little bit don't know why it does that but it just seems to get stuck every time I punch down the notch and we'll do the same thing and just cut those lines And there you have the two by three size card spool, which is this one. So I've put the marks there so you can see. And with this one, I've made a mark. It says uh, punch at the edge of notch. In case you can't read that on the, in case you can't read my writing. Um, now we're going to do the next one, which is the larger size. Uh, you cut your paper at two and three quarter of an inch uh, by four inches. And we're going to punch that as well on the two inch mark. So this is my paper. So it's just the same thing, two inches. This is for your larger size. So what I've kind of found out is that you can probably cut your paper at any length and any any length, any width, as long as you punch it at the two inch mark. So you get this uh, part go, uh, sort of shaped in this way. The only, um, the mini one only works with the edge being punched on the edge of the notch but any other size you're able to punch it or um, line the paper at the two inch mark so that's uh, just another little tip for you um, that I've worked out but that is for the larger size 
uh, to make the largest ball size for this one. And um, it was pretty easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this uh, easy tutorial. And now for the little uh, pack that I put together, for those that don't have the punch board or you like to per and you like to purchase or you like to have the card spools, these are the packs that I put together. And I'll just show you what you get. You get uh, two of the larger sizes, two of the medium size, and three of the mini spool or the little mini card spools and on the listing you'll have two options you will be able to purchase uh, you can either purchase a coordinating set of a random pattern print paper and you'll also get a matching uh, uh, packaging bag that I've also made with uh, some little crochet string to keep it together and a little gold heart little tag so the option is you can have a, a pack of seven of the coordinating paper and this, this is a, another set of a coordinating set or you could get um you can have seven pieces of random double printed paper as well with a matching a gift bag to go with that as well with the trim and the heart so that's the two options you can have uh, either a coordinating set of seven or a uh, random print pack of seven and they are all double-sided as well the papers so just to let you know and that's listed in my shop now and you can also just use these as a template if you want to make your own just cut around the edge and then just freehand it with a pair of scissors as well so you could then use these and remake some more of your own but this is my uh, measurements for the little spool with the mini punch board so i do hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all soon bye